Bikini Bottom has a long, proud and noble history of sporting events at its stadium. Well, except for that incident with the rabid shrimp. Let's not talk about that, huh? Will this patty ever cease to hound me? No, Plankton, unfortunately it will not. Okay, so we're now on the fourth stage. And this time, we're going through the Oyster Stadium. And, whoa, I almost fell there. That was sucked. Okay. Um, once you get to the bottom of this platform right here, go back real quick and get the blueprint. Then hurry the heck up. <clears throat> so there's going to be a lot more hazards on this, on this stage here as we go through the Oyster Stadium. This is an amazing game we're having here today, Dale, with the Bikini Bottom Particles about to win their first game ever. The only thing that could ruin it for them would be if the game was somehow disrupted by a chase involving a giant food stuff. Yes, and what are the gadgets? Would you look at that? And yes, I'm just getting confirmation ready. The Particles have lost, and that means it was their 76-year losing streak. 76-year losing streak? Oh my god. That team might as well not exist. That's that's just that's pathetic. That's sad. It would be kind of pitiful to be part of it, part of that team. I'm sorry, but yeah. <clears throat> and this is the most poorly designed Sam I've ever seen. So not only is a team, you know, on his 78, uh, whatever it was, 68. I don't remember. I don't even remember the number. That's how. That's how forgetful I am. But yeah, look how poorly designed the stadium is. I. I'm not surprised by the lack of audience members here. I am so not. Okay. So, I think this stage is actually pretty short. You gotta watch out for the gas here. Must have came from Patrick and uh, Starfish Man's The Rescue. Because you gotta wonder, where is that gas coming from? Well, it's coming from Patrick, okay? That explains everything. When you're wondering where gas comes from, just point to Patrick, okay? That's all you have to do. Okay. Is there like a guy that's only holding a foam finger somewhere in here? I know there is. I swear to God, there is, because I remember seeing that when I went through here previously. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that thing is way too big for his hand. It's so funny. Okay, so now you got to bounce up here to the blueprint. There we go, we got it. We got this, we got this. Okay, where was the baseball game anyways? Look at this, this is the bottom of the stadium, okay? They were just having a game up there. Where? Where was the game? What were they looking at? Oh my god. There wasn't even a game. That's supposedly an Oyster Stadium baseball game, and there's no game. There's no baseball field. It's just a field of waste, radioactive waste. Wow. I'm glad Safeco Field doesn't look like that. You know, I don't live that far from Seattle, so I've been to Safeco Field um, a few times. By that, I mean like once every three years, but you know what I mean. Soon it shall all be mine. Soon it shall all be mine. Go me. Yeah, that's plankton for ya. And all is greed and glory. Greed and glory. Who's, who says greed and glory? That's just weird. Soon it shall all be mine. Um, I think this is the last time we'll ever play this minigame, just so you know. And we're already like... Six past the score. Okay, make that... Ten now. I don't think the vases that shall all are worth anything. Mine. All right, so for the last time, we are now saving. Well, not the last time in, in the entire game, but you know. Bikini Bottom has many sites of historical importance. There's that place with the uh, thing, and there's uh, that other thing, and 
Oh, who am I kidding? Nothing ever happens in Bikini Bottom. Hey, I can see my mare from here. Hello, my mare. Hey, I saw the sea needle. He's coming to get me. That'll teach you. Okay, so now I got some time to advance through this stage before the cryopod gets out of the radioactive waste. And I just saw, and yes, yes, I saw that fish swimming through there. That was just, that's just weird. Oh, Nickelodeon. Or more like, um, whoever designed this game. I forgot what their name was. Retro Studios, I think it was? I, I can't remember, actually. It can't be Retro Studios, because they were the ones who designed Metroid Prime, which I haven't even played before in my life. Okay. So, yeah, this is the very last stage, so I don't think we'll be playing the Pounce and Pound and Patty minigame. I, I think we will be, actually. I think we will. I don't know. I just... I, I'm not sure if I can even remember playing it at the end of the level. No, he's not. Don't worry, Plankton. You got this. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Because you're being controlled by multi-classic gamer, okay? Not multi-spongebob gamer. But multi-classic gamer is more used to playing old games. Well, actually, no, he's still. And you're, and you're in a new game, so you're in good hands, Plankton. Don't worry. Since you're in a new game and you're being played by a classic game. Here. We've already got, almost got enough for the sleepy scene in the stage. Alright, here we go. Now we'll end up back at the chum bucket just so you know. Okay, we can't blame the key bomb construction workers on that, because that's just nature right there. See? These are rocks, so we're gonna have to blame Mother Nature for those. I command you to move. Why there's a random floating platform here, I have no idea. Watch out, there he is. And why these never mind. I was gonna comment about those crabs sleeping those sleeping crabs or whatever. Hurry, 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 come on, come on, come on. Yes, all right. Doing just fine so far. Watch out for sleepy, slippery platform. Did I say sleepy platform? Oh, whatever. I'm getting, I'm getting so, so used to saying sleepy seed and sleepy Z, so get used to me doing that, okay? Well done. You have a blueprint. No, I thought I got chocolate. You shouldn't have. That would explain the fact that they're blue. Okay, that's not funny at all. Dude, you, you suck at comedy, okay? You have no taste in comedy whatsoever. So stop trying to be funny, okay? Okay, thanks. Bye. Good night. See you Thursday. Blah, 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 blah. Watch out, barriers! How would you warn the barriers, Plankton? You're an evil genius. You never warn barriers that you're coming, okay? Wow, that's what she said. <coughs> Anyways, we're just about the, at the end here, and there we go, we're done. I don't remember the chum bucket being placed next to a ledge. One of the advantages of genius is that it provides me with an advantage should I become locked in a battle of wits with artificially enlarged foodstuffs. No patty will defeat the mighty mind of Plankton. Speak of the devil. Okay, so never mind. I guess we're not playing that Pouncing Poundin' Patty minigame again. So, aww. Sad day for Plankton. 
So, um, next time on Let's Play Creature from the Krusty Krab, we move on to the next stream, stream level. And like I said, that was a very short one. So, that, that would explain the fact that it didn't take us that long to get through. But yeah, we'll be moving on to the next uh, dream level of the game. We'll be going back to SpongeBob. And we'll be, we'll be doing um, Alaskan Belly Trouble, okay? And that's probably going to be the longest one of the... It's the... Yeah, Alaskan Belly Trouble is the longest dream level of the game, okay? So expect us to take at least like six episodes to get through that one, okay? Which is kind of weird considering that we just finished uh, a really short one, but... But you know, whatever it'll do, okay? So I'll see you guys in, in uh, Alaskan Belly Trouble, okay? See you guys then. MCG signing out. Thanks for watching episode 11. Thanks. Bye.